Hello everyone. This is the third part of the division chapter that we are studying. So we have already learned division of two digit number and division of one digit number. So today we will study the division of three digit number and I have with me Mariam. Hello Mariam. Hello. So are you enjoying studying mathematics? Yes. So let's see how do we divide the three digit numbers. So let's see in the book what it is saying. Two digit question. Example one, six friends collected 174 plastic bottles to convert into plant holders. holders. So what did the six friends do? They collected 174 plastic bottle. And what they wanted to make with it? They wanted to make with it a plant holder. They wanted to plant trees in those plastic bottles. If each person made the same number of holders, how many plant holders did each person make? So if they were six friends, how many friends? Six friends. And they collected how many bottles? What? 174 what? bottles and they all of them they did they did an equal work okay mm -hmm. so everybody made the same number of bottles so how many could they finish making it so let's see what we will do we will divide it 174 divided by how many six because they were six friends step mm -hmm. one decide where the first digit of the quotient will be so how do we divide 174 by six so let me first explain you how is how this this is done Uh, I'll just make a uh, writing here. Yes. So uh, look here. They were how many friends? They were six friends. One, two, three, four, five, six friends. And total bottles were how much? 174 bottles. The acutant is two. And no, no. We have to divide. Uh, first, 17 minus 12. So this is not working now. 12 equals. Uh, it's okay. This is not working. We'll do it from here. Six. So 174 divided by 6. How will we divide it? 6. So we can't divide 1 with it. So we will take these two numbers. So yes. 6. Start writing the table of 6. 6 to the 10. 6 1 is 6. 6 2 is 12. 6 3 is 18. So we can't write 18 because 18 because will become big. 2, two and, and we write 12. So but my pen is not working here. So what will I do? I'll just take a minute. Yes. And now it's working. So what we are going to do is we will and the answer is 54. <laughs> no, you will not check the answer in the <laughs> in the book. So I you are saying from A and they are saying 54. So now we will do it ourselves. Okay. How we will do it ourselves? Let's see. I I already knew the knew the answer. You have to not learn the answer. So what we will do, we will I already knew the answer. Okay. So six we'll read the table of six. Six one is six, six two is a twelve, six three is a eighteen. So eighteen is becoming more. How can we subtract seventeen from eighteen? So we will just write six two is a twelve. Six two is a twelve. And now is twelve. So what will come minus? Seven minus two is five. Five and zero. Five and here is four. Fifty four. Okay. Now, 54 is coming again. What we will do, we will again read this table of 6 because 54 is a greater number and it's near to 60. So, 6, 9, ja? 54. So, the second step is that you will again read the table of 6 and then the remainder is coming 0. So, your zero. question is 29 and remainder is 0. Okay. So, have you understood this? Yeah. What is this? So, it's... I don't know. Okay, so this is how it is done. So what we are saying, make up a sentence to remember the step of division. Decide, divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down, start over, here is one. Drooling dogs make sweet chocolate biscuits soggy. <laughs> so what you are doing, first you are deciding what you have to do. We have to divide, we have to multiply, you have to subtract decide, what we have to do. So you divide, decide, now you divide. And how you would divide, you will multiply, multiply with this six one, subtract, then you subtract it. Then compare, okay, this is not divisible. Bring down, bring down this one and then start over the multiplication. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is pretty easy. Now let's see how we will do this one. Two, zero, through three divided by four. So we read the table of four. four. So four, how much? Can you divide two with four? No. So we'll take two numbers. So four table, 
4 ones are 4, 4 5s are 20. So 4 5s are 20 and 0 comes down. So again, this is only 3. So Q is equal to 50 and R is equal to 3. Okay. Now let's do this one. 8, 6, 44. How will we do this? So start reading the table of 8. Start reading the table of 8. Eight six forty eight. Forty two. Eight seven forty eight. Eight six forty eight. Eight seven sixty four. Eight six seven. Fifty six. Eight seven sixty six. Eight eight the sixty four. So eight eight the sixty four. So eight how much is sixty four? Eight eight the sixty four. So what comes down? Sixty four. No, this is sixty four. Sixty four minus is zero. So what comes down? So you don't try to have to write everywhere zero. Just write in the one zero and then you bring this one down so now uh, remainder is four and question uh, no, no, so you will write here zero okay so you will write zero so you will write here zero and the answer question question will be four so eight into eighty plus four is six forty four no four minus four equals zero 4 minus 4 is equal. Why we will bring 0? We have to, the remainder will, will only be 4. So you see this process is there because there are 644. Okay. So 880 just 640. Huh? See, come here. It's a three digit number uh, multiplication. So it's a little different. So what, it, what they are saying that because it is three digit. So when you are doing minus, then it is becoming 0 and 1, 4 is coming down. So we can't just leave this 1, 4 because this was 1, 10, 100 digit. Okay, so what we will do is either you write that 880 is 640, like they have done here, 450 is 200. You can either write or just bring, uh, because you are bringing this 4 down, just because you are bringing this 3 down and then you have to write here 0. This is the step. You have to learn this one. Okay, what is the trick here? Have you understood it or not? If you've not understood, I will, uh, I will explain again. So you've not understood it, okay? I understood. Okay, so let's come to the three-digit question. 376 divided by 2. So 3 can't be divided with 2, so we take these two numbers, 37. And then, okay, 3 can be divided through 1 or 2, okay? So 2 ones are 2. So 1, 7, 17 will come down. 1, 7, 17. So 2, 8 is a 16. So 2, 8 is a 16. Now comes 1. And then again, 6 is coming down. Again, 2, 8 is 16. So 2, 8 is 16. So the question is 188 and the remainder is 0. So this is pretty easy. Now try this one. 8 with 648. How will you do? 8, 8 is a 64. And then 8 is coming down. Okay, see this one. See this one? 648. So what will be the answer? You tell me the answer. If you have understood, you will be able to tell. 8? Eight. 8. We can't divide 8 with 6. We have to do 64 divided by 8. So 8, so 8 is a? 8 to 8 is a 64. Now? Now we will minus 0 and 8 will come down. And then we will minus 8 and Put zero down no, we will not do zero down. Eight is divisible by eight or not? Yes. So eight ones are eighty-one. Eight ones are eight. Yeah. So now it will zero. So this is the way we do. Similarly, I thought, seven. I hmm. thought it was the upper one. Okay, seven three fifty-three. How we do seven three fifty-three? Okay. So how do we do that? Seven five ja thirty-five. Okay, seven five ja thirty-five. Everybody knows it. 7, 5, 35. Now coming down 3. So what we will do now? Minus 3 is smaller than 7. Mm -hmm. So what we will do now? Minus 7. No, why will minus 7? 7, 1, 7, we can't write 7. We can't subtract 7 from 3. So what we will do that? We, only, we will only write here 0. Okay? And 7 zeros are 0. So answer is 3. Why we are not leaving it here? Why we are doing it with zero? Because this is a three-digit number. And whenever we divide a three-digit number, your answer should be in two degrees. This is a trick. But, but, but. Put a zero at the last. Huh? Yes, it's a trick. 
because so you just can't why, leave it here. Why? Upper one. Which one we didn't do? In six four eight. So here eight one the eight was there. So it is already coming zero. Yeah. Okay. Either your remainder will be zero one two three four five six seven eight nine. It will not be more than ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your remainder will be less than ten. Mm -hmm. All right. So similarly, you see five hundred. Now four is a four. Say divide four five hundred. How you are going to do? So you will read the table of four because five you can't be divided by with four. So we read the table of four and four. Uh, for for so how much will fifty will come? So four can be divided. Five you can divide two. Four ones are four. So one comes down. One zero comes down. Ten. So what you will write now? Four two is a eight. So you write here eight. Then what will come? Two. And then again, you bring down this zero. It will 20. be zero twenty. Four fives are twenty. So this is one twenty five. Answer is coming like this. So right? Have you understood this one? This is easy. But in these question types, a question like three fifty three, when you are getting a three here, so what you do is that because you are not, if you don't want to do this this step, you can only put a zero here. And if you want to show, then you can write seven zeros are zero, and then three is coming minus because this is a yes. Yeah, the trick is that because it is a three digit number. Okay, look here, look here. Because it's a three-digit number, so so first step is one number one times three-digit number will be divided two times, and this is two times. Okay, have you understood it now? A three-digit number will be divided two times. How many times? Two times. Two times. If it is already small, then you will write a zero, and then you will divide. Okay. Have you understood it now? Okay. So if you concentrate, you will become very sharp. You will understand everything. And if you don't, then it again it will become very difficult. Now let's move forward and see what they are having. Again, now comes to the question six fifty divided by five. So we write here five with zero six fifty. Five ones are five. Comes here one five fifteen. Five threes are fifteen. Fifteen zero zero. And so, so three step division. So you see here, this is a three a three digit number. Will be divided two times. Here one time. Here two times. All three digit number will be have two steps. What is the common mistake? Common mistake is that five ones are five. Okay, fifteen and zero. So this is a common mistake. Down, down, down. Because they have not written here zero. They have only left one thirteen and then left left it. Because the answer was coming zero, so they they forgot about this zero. So if you do the, do this, then your answer will be wrong. What about down down? Down down. Down down. Down down. Here also they have neglected this eight. They uh, they have four four ones are four okay zero two comes down again eight comes down eight four seven is twenty eight done zero, but they forgot to write a zero here. That's why it's wrong because they have not done two step they have only done one step. Okay, they have to do it two two step and how how we do it two step? Let me show you. I know the two step. So four twenty eight so eight is here eight twenty eight zero. So because here it is zero, so you are going to write here zero, or you can write zero zero zero. This is one step, this is two step. If you are not not showing the two step, at least you have to write a zero here. Have you understood it now? Yeah. Have you understood it? So this is a common mistake. You have if you have uh, if you are able to be careful in this one, then your answers will always be correct. Like see, four hundred divided by two, so the answer will be three digit number, two hundred, not only two. Okay, so this one makes it more clear. How? Just look here, two, and this is four hundred. Look here, look here. If you don't concentrate, you will not be able to do this. So see, two ones are two, two twos are four. So this is two, and here it is four. So finished. Zero is coming. Now, since there are two zero here, so we will also write more two zero here. Now, have you understood or not? Tell me. I'm going to ask you. So be careful. See, two 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 is a four. Now you are not showing these two steps, but since there are two zeros here, so you are going to add here two zeros. Okay or not? Okay. Okay. Very good. So let's proceed. Okay. 
So tell me this answer. It's very easy. Fill the digit in the box if the remainder is zero. Okay. Um, 34. 86, right? What will you do? Tell me the what will what two, will you two, do? Two. Two and I can add. Wrong. So what you will do is that you will just this is on, only telling you to check your answer. The remainder is zero. So what is the formula? This into this plus the remainder. Remainder is zero is equal to this. So what the answer will be? What are you going to put here? Is just you, the multiplication of 24 into 4. So what is 24 into 4? 4 fours four are 16. 6 carry 1. 4 to j 8 plus 1, 9. So answer will be 96. Now have you understood or not? So what will be the answer of this one? I have to know that. Okay. I have to multiply by 13. Very good. You have understood. So 13 into 7. So how will you multiply? 7, 7 21. So it will be 1 carry 2. 2. And then uh, 1, 7, 1, 7, and 7, 8, 9. 9. So answer will be 91. So here you will write 91. So have you understood it? I hope you have understood it. And I, I'm sure you have understood it. Yes, so come here. Now, building skills problem without numbers. Anil brought dash books for dash rupees. If each book costs the same, how much does one book cost? So they are not telling anything. They are saying this. He has brought so many books with so much rupees. So if each book costs the same, how much does the book cost? In the following problem, the numbers are hidden. You only need to decide whether to add, subtract, multiply, or divide. So you don't know what you have to do. I, what uh, Either you have to add it or subtract it or multiply it or divide it. Read this problem and ring the correct sign. So you have to find out what you are going to do in this. Sushmita so had dashed necklace. There were dashed beads on each necklace. How many beads were there in all? So what would you do? There are four necklaces. How many? And there, how many beads? There were one, two, three. We will multiply by four. Four, four. Uh, no, four in this question, what you will, you will do? Multiply. No. So, she is a girl. She has so five. You don't have to count, look at the figure in the count. You just have to understand what are you going to do in the steps of question. They are telling, suppose Sushmisa had 10 necklaces. There were 100 beads on each necklace. How many beads were there in all? So how will you find out how many beads were there in all? All. Uh, divide. Nahin. How many beads were there in multiply. all? Yes, yeah, so you will multiply this with this. Okay, so the answer will be multiplying. Now, have you understood? Hmm. So this is what they are trying to explain you. Dash children went on a school trip. Dash were girls. How many were boys? So what you are going to do? Total number of children that went to school trips? 10. 10. Suppose, example. Dash were girls. 4 were girls. How many were boys? So what you are going to do? So how, what will you do? Plus, minus, multiply, subtract. What will you do? Yes. Rhea had dash toys. Nana had dash toys. How many more toys did Nana have? Rhea has so much and Nana has so much. How much more Nana has? One has more than the other. So what you are going to do? multiply. Just don't take a guess. First, understand what the question is saying. Suppose I have 10 twice, you have 2 twice. How many more I have than you? Subtract. Yes, subtract. So this way you have to understand the question. Human had dash stamp. He put dash stamp on each page of his album. How many pages did he need? He, uh, yeah, yeah, Yavun had dash. Yeah, no, you have five papers and I give you four stickers. So uh, you have four stickers and you put the four stickers on each page. How many sticker page you need? I, I have 10, uh, 10 stickers mm -hmm. and I have 5 pages. Mm -hmm. So I will need more 5 pages. So what will you do? How many and stickers you will put in each page? No, you will divide. One. Divide. So you will say that, okay, if each page has 2 stickers, 5 to the 10. So in one page, I am going to put 2 stickers. So we will do this again in um how to understand, yeah. multiply, divide, subtract. Okay, so this is all in the division chapter. So let's see what the questions are. Understanding remainders. When you divide you something, uh, when you uh, when you divide 
you sometimes get a remainder. There are three things you can do with the remainder depending on the question asked. You can use only the question. There are 21 bars of chocolate for a group of nine people. How many bars will each person give, get? So each person will get two bars of chocolate and there will be three bar left. Each person will get two bars. So are they going? 21 divided by nine. So nine cannot be divided with 21. Nine twos are 18. And then three will be left behind. So they will say that three are left behind or use the remainder. 25 people are put into teams of four each. How many people will not be a part of team? So this is the, so you, if, if questions like this come, so what are you going to say? Say you'll just divide four, 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 uh, four, 25 peoples are put in four teams. So in each team, how many people will be there? Four divided by 25. And it will be four, six or 24. One will be left behind. So one people will not be in the team. Now, are you understanding these questions? Okay, very good. Include the remainder by increasing the question by one. 22 children are going on a picnic, suppose. If each car can hold five children, how many cars will be needed to take the, all the children to field trip? So now you can't leave that child behind. Divide. So you're going to uh, divide the 22 with five. So five fours are 20. The two are getting left behind. So you will increase the number of car and you will ca call one more car. So the remainder is getting left behind. So how many car you are going to call? Tell me the answer. You, you have to tell this answer to me. They are 22 people, 22 students, okay? And they have, till now the teacher has called how many cars? Each car can hold five children. One car can hold five children. So how many more cars will be needed? For five for the 20 plus one. So total five cars will be needed. Okay, I think you have understood this chapter and we'll uh, catch up with the uh, next chapters in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Subscribe to the channel, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.